right, everybody, this video is regarding the rumours circulating this man, John Ruddy. The reason being, he's just been released from Wolves and he played under Alex Neil from 2015 to 17. And the, the rumours are starting to build up a little bit of momentum now and there's more and more people mentioning them on social media. So I thought I'd bring you this video up. Also, I'm going to be mentioning another goalkeeper who's looking for a club it would be a good fit for Sunderland also so stay tuned for that one as well right I'll start off obviously with John Ruddy what who this video is about best off um, listen he played under Alex Nail in 2015-17 so Alex Nail likes this player he, he, uh, he trusts the player and it, it's an Alex Nail type player experienced player who's played in all divisions he's played in the Premier League Championship uh, league 1, League 2, he's also played in Scotland, he's played anywhere basically uh, so he's, he's, he brings to the table any amount of experience and that that could be uh, crucial for me in this signing simply because for me Patterson's our number one and he will be in the championship in my opinion and I feel as if a goalkeeper of this calibre he'd be, uh, you know what, his experience will he'd be highly valued basically at Sunderland just so he can bring on and develop Patterson as well. He can teach him lots about the game, positioning, you name it, he can, he can learn it. And for me, he's a really good goal, goalkeeper in any way, and you never know. Who's to say he couldn't be pushing Patterson for that number one spot? And that's what we need competition for places, and we're desperate for a goalkeeper. Obviously, we let Hoffman gun that. So for me, a goalkeeper position is, is one what we need cover. And I would I would be happy to see Woody at Sunderland. I, I really, really would. Comment below what your thoughts are, are on Woody. Do you think he, he would suit being in, in, in the Sunderland squad? Comment below and let us know. Obviously, there's another one and all. But before I get on to it, a little bit more about Woody. He played at Everton. He made one appearance there. He also he also made one international appearance under Roy Hodgson. So, you know, there's definitely a good goalkeeper there. His best spell, like I say, was at Norwich, 234 appearances, outstanding. And anyway, moving on, this other other goalkeeper who, who's just been released as well, you probably know what I'm on about, from Watford, Ben Foster. What a goalkeeper. See, a bit like Ruddy, bags of experience. So, uh, you know, them two goalkeepers are very similar. For me, I would love to have Ben Foster or Ruddy. You know, just my opinion. Obviously, he's a fellow YouTuber as well. <laughs> But no, jokes aside, them two goalkeepers, I would, I would be over the moon if someone could bring either one in, either or. But I, I would be tending to be swaying towards Ben Foster personally. Comment below and tell us who you think would be the better choice for Sunderland. Right, so, link with yet another player, this time the goalkeeper, Ruddy. Um, yes, his experience, he's been around the block a few times. I've never really rated him highly at the, at the higher level, you know what I mean? But I think any keeper we'll bring in is going to be back up to Patterson anyway. So, with the experience he's got, um, that he, he might be good to pass some knowledge on to Patterson and maybe help bring him on a bit. Um, but, I mean, I, it's not, he's not the keeper that I want to see playing in goal in place of Patterson. Definitely not. Um, if he comes, he, I'm sure he's got a lot to offer, young Patterson. Um, which would be helpful, obviously, because he's only a young lad. And obviously, he had a cracking season yesterday, but especially the second half since Neil came in and all that. Uh, he done really well for us and he, he cemented his number one spot with us now, Patterson. Bringing him to the keeper in, it is wise. I mean, like I say, Burge has been released. The Hoffs went back to his, uh, went back to uh, Munich. So, we do need to bring a keeper in. Um, with Patterson being number one, you're not going to bring someone in who's... I mean, ideally, you want someone to be challenging Patterson. I don't see everybody doing that. So, therefore, if Patterson does get into them, we'll be stuck with him in goal, you know what I mean? So I mean, I'd, ideally, you'd like to have two good, two good goalkeepers battling for the spot. Yeah, but if we're going to bring another one in, that's fair enough. And then Ruddy can be there as a backup uh, and uh, to help bring them on court because he's getting on a bit now. I didn't know his age, but he's got to be easy in his late thirties, possibly if not, if not even forty. Um, I know that's an out for a goalkeeper these days, but yes, if if they bring him in, fair play. But oh, I'd only have him in uh, to help bring on Patterson. He's not the he's not the kind of keeper that I'd want in goal. Uh, but in a, in a perfect world, you'd like to have two young, good goalkeepers battling out for the position so you've got constant competition, uh, keep everyone on the toes, because people play, play, play better when they've got competition for the place, whereas if you if you know you're the only person in that position, a bit like Ross Stewart, but fortunately, like Ross Stewart, he was only forward, we had most of last season, 
with Broadhead being injured and things like that, and Defoe just made Defoe tossing us off and blooming retiring when he thrown us under the bus. But you need to have competition, and Ruddy's not competition for me. He might be able to help bring him on, but he's not competition for me. If they bring him in, I want him used just as... I obviously definitely back up and bring in Patterson on, but I'd like to see a different goalkeeper come in who can challenge Patterson for his number one spot. Um, that's my views on it anyway. I'm sure Paul would be very different. He'd probably be buzzing because he gets excited about little things like this. Um, but, nah, that's all I've got for that, really. Ruddy did... I mean, I seen the news this morning. It didn't really excite us, so I didn't think nothing of it. But here you go. I'll see you in the next one. Catch you in a bit, boys. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up on this one. But mainly, subscribe. And do you know how the little bell next to it? Allow all notifications so you never miss it upload. <laughs> Go on, yeah. But anyway, see you all later.